Good morning, everybody. Day 48. Uh, that's Duck going past us. Have a great day, Duck. Uh, Joe's back here. We're uh, getting ready to leave. It's 9 o'clock later than normal. I am not feeling good. Uh, I've had some kind of stomach bug all night. Uh, but being sick, staying here in the tent or the shelter or being sick out on the trail, I guess I can move forward as fast as I can, but it's not going to be very fast today. Uh, I'll keep you posted. Maybe I can hike it off. All right. Okay. About two miles out of the original camp, and I'm super sick. Uh, thrown up, uh, dehydrated. Uh, it looks like I got some bad food last night. And anyways, I'm gonna set my tent up. I'm gonna get to the stealth spot and try to get some liquids in me and try to get some food back in me and try to get some rest and put me behind the gang but what can you do all right hey everybody it's only 10 45 but i'm back in my tent i hiked about i don't know two and a half miles with joe uh ended up uh losing my cookies uh about a mile back and uh felt better but um any energy that I had in my system is gone. Uh, I just need to rest, get some fluids back in me, and, and I'll get back on the trail. I don't know if I'll hike again today. Um, I'm going to try to take a nap here because uh, I really do need some rest. And I'll also, I've got a, a full liter of Pedialyte uh, um, electrolytes next to me and a half of another bottle. And there's a spring... Uh, probably 50 yards from here so I'm set up for water which is probably the most important thing I have no appetite at all um, and quite honestly the junk that I usually bring to hike is not appealing right now so I'm just in a rock and a hard place but stuff happens on the trail I'll get past this um, everybody will end up about 10 miles ahead of me but that's just a, that's just what it is I'll, I will catch them all right gotta get rolling Good morning, everybody. This is day 49. I'm on the trail about a mile. Uh, was sick all day yesterday. Uh, um, threw up in the morning. Uh, had the poops. Uh, I feel better today. I'm paying attention to being dehydrated and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> but uh, I'm only going to try to make it 10 miles today. Uh, which was really my destination from yesterday, minus the ones I did. And uh, hopefully, as the day goes on, I'll feel better. If there are any views, I'll share. Okay. Uh, this is the best view I've earned ever. This is the way I'm feeling. <clears throat> um, I'm just happy to be up here. I'm just waiting for some cell signal. Trying to get a hold of a couple people, my wife in, in particular, because I haven't been able to contact her in close to 48 hours. But uh, I'm still feeling like crap, <laughs> and uh, I'm making about one mile an hour, which is fine because I can make the Thomas Knob Shelter today without having to kill myself. But um, just beautiful. Just beautiful views, and uh, I wish I could enjoy them more this morning. Uh, as I keep going, I'll, I'll share what I, I can. Good morning. Uh, about 10, 10.30 now. Uh, I'm going pretty slow. Uh, I've just stopped at a spring to fill up water. But uh, the view has made it very pleasant. And for right now, the trail is... Uh, I'll say level to a descent, which has made life somewhat easier as well. Uh, I'm trying to make it to Thomas Knob Shelter, which is probably somewhere around six miles from where I am now. Uh, in, in the long and short of things, I will make it. It's just going to be a miserable day. I really think I'm going to try to get off trail for at least a day, if not two uh, get in, get some medicine to straighten out whatever's going on and 
get back on the trail. Uh, at this point, um, I'm a full day behind uh, my crew who have been checking on me uh, when they can. I haven't had cell service for almost 48 hours, 36 at least, and just barely have some this morning. So I'll keep you posted. Uh, there are going to be some views today, so I'll try to share those while I can. All right. Okay, I just took about an hour's rest here at Elk Garden. Uh, Route 600, Virginia, and I'm headed up to uh, Mount Rogers. And this is the area where there's supposed to be uh, wild ponies. So that's uh, where I'm headed. Um, you can see a fellow AT hiker just headed up the hill here. And then you can see some day hikers over here going different directions, different trails. All right, I'm feeling better not a hundred percent but I've got uh, only four miles I say that with tongue-in-cheek and it's just about noon so even if it took me six hours uh, I could make four hours or four miles all right you gotta get hey everybody it's about one o'clock and um, I'm taking another break uh, on the trail I'm just low on energy uh, and stomach still doesn't feel normal, but um, I'm making progress. Uh, the day is beautiful, thank goodness. Uh, if it was raining, it would be miserable. I was able to make contact with uh, my sister, who originally I was going to have come pick me up, but I think I'm going to tough it out and try to get to at least the Thomas Knob shelter. There's a major road crossing up that way, so if I do need to get extracted, uh, I'll still be able to do it. But... uh you know, only being one o'clock and now only having about, uh, let's see, there's four and a half miles back there. I'm going to say three miles to the shelter. I think I'm going to be all right. Uh, I did eat uh, the first normal food I'd had for lunch. And um, when my stomach's not totally saying, hey, uh, love to have that here, it's it's not totally rejecting it either. So that's great. Um, what else? Uh, other than that, uh I'll try to keep uh, you posted if there are any views. All right, got to get rolling. Well, I'm a little bit closer to um, Thomas Knob Shelter <clears throat> and came out to this view of the semi-bald. And it's very pretty. Uh, wish I had more time to relax. I just want to get to camp and take this pack off, get my stuff set up and lay down for a while. All right. So, I'm uh, ever closer to uh, Thomas Knob Shelter, <clears throat> looking over uh, uh, Mount Rogers, <clears throat> which I believe is the highest point in Virginia, which I did not know. All right. All right. Well, sure enough, I have come up on some wild ponies. Just browsing, <clears throat> browsing away right there. Uh, I see some people tenting over here, so I sure hope that's Thomas Knob Shelter. <laughs> uh, I'll keep you posted. Supposedly, you have to watch your stuff around the ponies because uh, they like to lick the salt off your stuff, and people have had their shoes eaten. So, there's a whole bunch of them right there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Gotta get rolling. Okay, uh, not sure you can see, there's three hikers, they're hiking out, so they're going northbound. <clears throat> I did make it to the Thomas Knob shelter. It's right there, and I'm actually staying in the shelter tonight, which is not something I usually do. I decided I went tonight, but the, the view here is actually beautiful from right behind the shelter. Uh, Roan Mountains over here behind these trees. Stays down, uh, 
gets in the system it'll, that'll energize me a bit more and if my stomach just starts feeling normal um, other than that got fresh water there are ponies wandering around here uh, I haven't seen any up by the shelter yet but there are ponies around so it's kind of cool and if I get a chance uh, to get an interview a little bit close <laughs> I'll let you know so I'm gonna do um, 48 and 49 together today since 49 was just a loss yesterday all right